bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. The SCS moving on up sits alone in the stars, just chilling, very near uh, some approaching pirates and slavers at the same time. Uh, not sure if I want to try to do anything about that. I do have one shield battery and two uh, hull stabilizers, so like maybe I would survive an attack like this. But that uh, to Captain Annie, and who was it that commented? Somebody was like, "Oh, um, uh, Owen needs to be the XO." on board we should yeah we should probably expand the command crew because right now obviously C captain annie's kill team we could call sort of i mean are they the command crew or are they captain annie's bodyguards that's the real that's the real discussion uh but more realer than that discussion is the realization captain annie is having that oh we should dismantle and remantle that one uh, the, re the realization that she's having that we are going to need a larger ship to deal with the great unknown out there. We might be able to go to warp and then wait and see if they split up. Then we could rob them both. We'll know this sector is empty. I just don't know how many trading partners there are here. So while we get the ship first, the new dreadnought uh, first designed, we're going to need a bit more uh, space. We're going to need a bit more like... And by space, I mean, of course, you know, trading partners floating around to give us space to build because we know they'll just come back every so often with a few more items, you know, generated like some water and stuff that we can keep trading off of them. We do have 22,000 space doubloons, so that feels like pretty well set up, I think. We just need to, yeah, we just need to find a good spot to start building. Okay, nope. Tank. Uh, logistics soft block. Put tank on it. <laughs> there we go. Pick that one up. Oh, come on. Why are you not going to pick that soft block up? Okay, anyway. We'll get that rebuilt. We're going to put somebody in there. Uh, somebody who's useless. Didn't we have... Okay, Creepy Bridgie is asleep again. And um, shout out to, to... Oh, man. I got to have the names of all the people leaving comments uh, on the thing. But uh, shout out to their families. Uh, the person who posted that you can actually just deconstruct and then rebuild these. As long as you rebuild and put somebody to sleep in them before you go do a hyper jump. If you do a hyper jump uh, and uh, and then nobody's in it, and then you put somebody in it, and then you hyper jump again, then it will be stuck in an automated, you know, in an automated way. So you build it in the moment, put somebody in it in that moment, before jumping to another sector, and then the hyper sleep chamber will be more of a permanent uh, sleep area. Colleen, what's your deal? Can you do anything interesting? Construction one, medical three, useful. But not on any shooty teams. Okay, Babyface, what about you? What's your deal? Construction 1, Botany 3. Gunner and Navigation could be good, but Medical is probably a little better. Aurelia, it doesn't look like Aurelia's on... Oh, wait. Was she on a team? No, Aurelia's not on a team. And she's kind of... She's a white uniform, which means to me that she's probably a botanist. Uh, botany, Construction 0. Okay, so Draft. And let's put you... Ah, oh, crap. It's not ready yet. Somebody can... There we go. Okay. Aurelia, where'd you go? Oh, no. Owen, be careful, dude. He's having a big fight for some reason. It's get, it's gotten way too crowded here. Okay? It is time to build a new ship and then move to it. But this is going to take several episodes, and let me explain why. Step number one, we have to design this beast, and that is going to take a while. Then we need to build in the place where we design it. We need to build its ability uh, uh, to fly. Right, that's step number two. So that's not going to be an easy feat. We need to get that all set up. And then once it can fly, then we can take it around a little bit while we continue to build it out. Because it's going to be a massive build. Uh, for one, I am hoping we have enough hull blocks. But we could fill it. We could just do the design this episode. And, and then uh, see how many hull blocks it would take to fill it all in. Hopefully 146, but I bet way more. Um, let's take to the stars because there's nothing for us here. And we're going to need to go and find out what's... I mean, these two are waiting to kill us. Was, well, that's going to be a problem. I don't know. Like a double ship boarding? We could we could bust off into two different shuttles and then just be very careful and try not to... Hopefully we don't lose anybody. And in the meantime, teams, you know, uh, three and four are waiting. So the shuttles have to ferry back immediately. And then once we've got eight people on both ships, hopefully we can take them both at the same time. That could be pretty spicy. That's a spicy way to start an episode. The other reason, folks... Uh, what do we got here? No safe path, because there's so many people in the way. I thought I had tweaked their sleep schedules. Apparently not enough. 
Where are all those folks? Why aren't they asleep right now? Oh, it's all hands on coffee break time. That's why. So this couple of next, this next couple of hours is gonna it gets really spicy. But I do like seeing all this. I like seeing all these folks hard at work here. O2 levels decreasing rapidly. Yeah, we need a new ship. Uh, sorry, the other reason it's going to take a while is because I can't really do too much editing. <laughs> oh, they're leaving. Okay. Can you guys split up, please? Why don't we... Oh, there's an agricultural farming station. We don't need anything just yet. I would love to... Ah, here we go. There we go. There we go. The slavers are coming. They are ready to be destroyed by us. Evade. The evasion succeeded. That's all right. Let's drop in. Let's drop in right next to them and show them that it is not okay to, to, to be around me. <laughs> oh, that ship looks big. Okay, this could be bad. We're gonna try anyway. And so the SCS move it on up. This ship looks simple, right? To, to, to the SGS Symphony, nice name, horrible people, it probably looks like a civilian vessel. And, to, and I don't actually, want, I wonder what faction we look like in general. Team one. Okay, let's open. Let's expand this. I just loaded the save game, so I'm trying to remember where everything is. Um, and the reason, by the way, that I don't have a lot of edit time is because, yeah, my work trips are continuing. I am just sneaking time to play games with you guys because, oh, right, Dorf, uh, the Doorbusters, Team Four, is is asleep. Okay, so we've got Team One and t Three. I don't know why I picked Three instead of Two. Two has decent enough stamina so I should have used them. Anyway, we'll, we'll get them over there in a second because this they're about to unload on us so we're going to have to move fast. Um, but yeah, my work trips are continuing and honestly, like, can this be a job yet please? <laughs> I'm not, that's so that's such a, you know what I mean, like a thing to be like, eh, I just want this to pay me millions of dollars Gerard Butler, what the heck happened to you? Uh, so, you know, it's going to be a bit of a hanging out episode. We're hanging out with me we're hanging out with with uh, with the uh, Space Haven. You know, feel free to leave some comments. We can talk about some topics. Who knows? We got to get rid of Gerard Butler. His accuracy is now 36%. It's probably low because he's injured. Oh, yeah. And they also have all of these protein deficiencies and fatty acid deficiencies. And he ate too much. Good Lord. I think he got into a, a little brawl, too. That's not ideal. All right. So let's dock there. You're ready, so let's bring you out here. We could try one of these airlock dockings. Like we could dock out here. Oh boy, the the the, the firings begin. Okay, let's prepare to get. Okay, let's put our shields are on red alert already, so that's good. Uh, team two, Reeb's. Let's get Reeb's drafted and and bring them over here. We're gonna have to spike these guns pretty quick, and I I'm worried we're gonna lose Gerard Butler in a few minutes here. I mean, we might lose more of them, let's be honest. Have you seen me play? All right, let's dock and get a team of eight in here before we start moving. Captain Annie boards the vessel. The shields on board the uh, SCS moving on up are almost depleted. Mystic and Ozark come in thinking that they can retake their ship easily, but they will be sadly surprised. Wow, Mystic just shook. Good Lord. Mystic's not messing around, eh? Okay, Mystic is like, I, I know what I'll do. I'll just friggin' storm the door. Okay, Mystic gave up, but the guns did not. There's a fire on board. We're gonna have to move very quick. They've been instructed to continue firing on us. Now, where is that fire? Starvation? <laughs> oh, and okay. Well, the fire is not a problem because um, there's a micro breach. Okay, let's get to our vents. We cannot lose as much oxygen as we're... Oh, I already had vented it closed. Nice. <laughs> Good for me. Okay, we cannot lose very much oxygen because there there is a shortage in the making of it on board this ship. All right, Team 2 is joining us shortly. Oh, good lord. Oh, pop open that door and take a face full of fire. Excellent work. Oh, Felix, man. Okay, Felix was putting up a fight. We got to be careful here. They're going to destroy the SCS movement up before we get there. Okay, I don't know. Oh, Team 2 is... Okay, I see what's going on. Team 2, I keep clicking on, which was... That was my fault. But now I can't click on the vessel. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay. 
Okay, that weapon sounds cool, by the way, though. By the way, me. Okay, the SCS moving on up is taking way too much damage. They're working on the fires. They're working on the hull breaches. And the guns fall silent. Captain Annie's team does what they need to do. We don't have time to keep prisoners right now. This shuttle is being an absolute pain, so we're going to dock here. Oh, we got a slave that we need to free, but this ship is far from taken yet. Teams one and three continue to move through. Move through. Even though Captain Annie is close to death. Oh, that's not good. Okay, team two, are you ready? Okay, good. Team two moves out. Oh, and they come face to face with Devin. Get him. Team two does seem to have slightly better accuracy. Tanya has taken a pretty bad hit there. Finish him off. Team one and three continues their search. Don't worry, we'll flee, free that slave in a second. Team two. Okay, what are we just... Oh, watch out. Get out of there. So, okay, the execution mechanic is interesting because they definitely don't... Oh. Uh, fire on her. Oh, no. There we go. Good work, good work. All right, let's get rid of her. Okay, Ozark is almost dead. What's happened here? Okay, team two. Okay, hang on. Okay, team one and three, keep we keep going. Team two, how are you doing? Somebody took some, Tanya almost, uh, yeah, took some real bad hits there. It seems like we have, we have done it. Oh, okay, I was getting a little sweaty there, but probably because it's like 30 million degrees in my house. Take them all prisoners, please. Oh, wait, can we free the, sli um, bye. Okay, where did that slave go? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. You guys go here. You guys go up this way. Let's just keep... There he is. Okay, there's the slave. So, Tanya, let's get you... Uh, let's take a look. What's your situation here? Conditions. Nothing is regressing, so you're, you're going to mostly get over it. Free prisoner. Okay, there we go. Good work. All right, let's get you to search that area. You guys search this area. You guys break off and search that. And then some of you... I'm finding the... the, the, the um, Selection box is being a little sticky today. Okay, good work, Tanya. Go and clear. Oh, did you free this person? Okay, good. I don't know if that means we're going to take them on board, but uh, that'll do. So we've got... <laughs> I did not notice this before. Ugh, I feel really bad, you know, if we were to, like, kill them. You know what I mean? I would feel pretty bad about that. Uh, um, <laughs> I think we got to take them expedited transfer all of that this is a good haul i would say this is a very good haul actually so let's get all of that on board we had no deaths a little bit of starvation going on but i think our algae chambers are fine so it's not that we have 400 water <laughs> i think we're going to be okay repairs are going to be starting and they're already kind of underway on our vessel as it slowly repairs itself let's keep somebody on the shields uh terminal for now make sure it gets repaired make sure you heard me Temperature appears to have become a problem here. 57 degrees. What happened? Solar radiation. Okay. We got high thermals in this area. So we need to get a uh, thermal uh, what's-it on the wall here. In case we need to use this as a, you know, as a, a medic place. Okay. Oh, wait. Return home. I want to see if I can... I shouldn't have done that first. We should do hull scrap later. Okay, good. Okay, we just did a little bit. It didn't pierce the hull. All right, everybody who's drafted, there's got to be a, like a mass undraft button. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, okay. Um, I, I try, I, look, I hit a few keys. There's no mass undraft. Uh, leave it in the comments below if you know if there actually is a mass undraft. That would be great. I could have just selected everything, I guess, and then hit the undraft key, but at any rate. Uh, we've got Felix, we've got Ozark, and of course... Uh, our man with the plan, Jesus. Oh, there is a micro breach somewhere. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, so they'll lose O2 here, so that'll make salvaging a little harder. And also salvage bots. I've been told by many folks, um, especially Septin Wurti. Yes, that's right. I've looked up the names of the last commenters, so I can shout you out. Uh, has been requesting salvage bots. I think we have enough. What do they eat? They eat energy cells, don't they? We've got 40 of those. So let's, uh, robots. Let's friggin' make some salvage robots. Why not? 
Like, what, what else are we doing here? Right? We're having fun. Nowhere to put it. Uh, no, uh, V. Yeah, where, where can I put this thing? Salvage bot. Oh, I'll just put it right here, and then that, yeah, I just won't have as many people in hypersleep chambers as I want. Let's shrink that for now. So we've got one salvage bot station going in here, and uh, uh, maybe another one in this area, probably, potentially. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Oh, we could do that, though. That's a little weird, though. I could get rid of that lamp. And then that gives me another salvage bot station. But let's build one salvage bot for now and just we'll just see how good it is. Um, although it'll be hard to tell. You kind of want like a bunch of salvage bots. Ah, oh, darn. They finished poking a hole in that hall. All right. We'll get these prisoners sorted out. We'll get this guy, I guess, brought onto our thing as a refugee. So this area is our... We do have a small, tiny little permission area for uh, refugees and prisoners. That's all we got. So let's bring him on over here, and maybe, I don't know, maybe Tanya is like, okay, can you can you get out of the way? Ozark, can you get out of the way, please? Ozark, move! And Ozark's like, never, I'm never going to let you get out of here. And so he kills Ozark. Oops, doesn't kill Ozark. He killed, uh... All right, I'm going to kill Ozark. Oh, Tanya, you're so dark. Reeves sees that, but she's new to the team, and so she understands what happens. In the meantime, Jesus is ordered to follow her for a change. <laughs> All right, and let's just get this ship docked back here, which might throw off some of the logistics plans that they were doing. Hopefully it'll undraft itself, and then uh, Jesus will be uh, brought over to his new space. We do need to save... Okay, Dorian, draft. We do need to save Amber, because the oxygen will continue to deplete, and then she will die here. Uh, so Amber is... We're, we're about to find out where she's from. So hopefully we can save her. We haven't even started designing the new ship yet. Blah. Civilians offer to help. Uh, yep, okay, so she's... We need to find a civilian vessel, which I think that agricultural station is perfect. I think that's a civilian. So, okay, follow me. And let's draft and dock you here. And let's bring you, uh, Dorian, let's bring you over here and get that sorted out. Now, this ship has, yeah, there we go, undraft it. I think Tanya's going to need some medical attention. And that was one of the reasons, to be honest, why I wanted to get rid of Ozark. Uh, but uh, I selected the wrong person, I guess. I'm seeing an issue with supplies. So we are low. We have no, we have medical supplies, but we have no IV fluid. That could be an issue. All right, let's get uh, Amber out of here. Amber! Am oh, what was that? Oh! Uh. Amber! The, okay, first of all, that animation is very cool. I've not seen that before, I'll be honest with you. Amber, just... Okay, Amber. Okay, Dorian, come on out. Oh, my goodness. Amber is stuck in some kind of death, deadly loop. Amber? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, she's got space bugs in her in her brain or something. Yeah, I know you don't like the temperature. It's because it's freezing there, and I'm, you're dying or something. Stay, okay, Amber, all right. Oh, okay, I think we got her. I think we got her. On board. Okay, phew. I don't know what that was about. That was... Uh, beyond bizarre, but it was very cool to see. I don't think I've seen that animation before of them getting out of the shuttle. I guess you have to dock it? Or if I hit exit craft, would she just bail out right there? I don't know. We're gonna have to experiment with that because that was really cool. Whew. Alright. Let's collect our materials from this ship. Let us eat of its bountiful harvest and compost of its bountiful corpses. And then uh, let us move on to a place where we think we can find a lot of trade. I'm not sure if this is the station, the, you know, the star, star sector we should be in. Maybe this one would be good. This one seems like it might be, you know, good or empty. So I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Like these safe sections seem to be full of a lot of trading partners. We might have to move on pretty quickly here. With, of course, our end goal being to have a dreadnought descend on the Slaver's Guild system.
Our salvage bot is hard at work. Disassembling things already. Accident 2%. Working speed 100. SRSNN4. But we're actually going to call this one... Um, eh. Eh. There we are. Uh, Wirty. Um, Wirty is hard at work doing some salvaging. And it looks like, yeah, I mean, Wirty... These salvage bots might be good. I'm not sure. We're going to, like, observe its its behavior for a little bit. It does go straight to the deconstructing, which is really nice to see. I thought maybe... Oh, more fires over there? We got a lot of fire problems right now. I think they dealt with it. Okay, good. Um, and the temperature is not helpful. Uh, I've also realized that we are actually out of biomatter, so I made sure to go and uh, uninstall, like, uh, all the biomatter orders. I was like, hey, hey, stop doing that. So those are going to be, yeah, no longer uh, being decomposed, or recycled, rather, for measly amounts of water. Again, doing okay for water, doing very not okay for biomatter. So uh, I think we're going to be okay. We might even need to make one grow bed just to grow either biomatter or just, like, oranges or something. But for now, hopefully the pooping is enough to get some biomatter to keep this going. Uh, but, yeah, starvation is going to start setting in on our massive crew any second now. The ACS Thunderchild uh, joins us. Unfortunately, no biomatter, but there's some good stuff that we are going to buy. So I'm going to get a 10 stack of the water. And then I'm noticing that I think things are full. So I want to take a look at what I have on board uh, and sell off any of the stuff I don't need. That'll probably make back some of the money I'm about to lose on these sales. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. But let's take a look. Like, What do we have lots of that we probably don't need? We're going to need a lot of energy blocks. We could sell these, but, I mean, I think they're useful, especially if we want to put a targeting jammer on our ship. Which, like, do we? Let's sell these off. We don't need that many pistols. Fibers we could turn into biomatter, I think, so we're going to take a look at that first. We have 56 oranges, which, while we do need them, uh, are definitely something we can get rid of at least a few of. And I think we just have, like, inordinate amounts of, yeah, like, scrap. So we should do a couple of garbage dump sales where we just sell off this, like you know, absolute garbage. So we're going to do a bit of trade there with uh, this ship while we continue salvaging the wreck. I'm seeing here that we can also uh, digest... Uh, it's weird that biomatter... Oh, no, it creates fertilizer. Right, okay, so we can make fertilizer, uh, and fibers make fertilizer, but they don't make... There's no way to make biomatter. So the only way to make biomatter is to either grow food and have it as a byproduct or cash in on that sweet, sweet pooping. So, at this point in the game, we are pretty screwed right now. Unless we start growing food again. Uh, we're going to need to find a spot where we can grow quite a lot of food. Uh, or, can we just turn this around? Okay, that's going to get real cramped in there. We're going to have to put more people to sleep, I think. <laughs> that's one way to get out of this. Alright, we can... Oh, we'll put a growing bed right there. And let's make that a high construction priority. And, and uh, I don't know. If it's not good enough of a growing area then that might s result in slower growth. But again, like, we don't need... We just need biomatter. We don't, you know, we don't need good vegetables to come out of this. We're basically growing Twinkies at this point. Like, we just need to grow crap so that we can process it into algae. <laughs> oh boy, wish us luck. I've realized that I could turn on food consumption permission uh, in some of these where I'm storing processed food. That's going to help a little bit, but definitely... Starvation is beginning to set in. Thankfully, some of the poops have got us enough biomatter to pull up uh, one algae dispenser. Uh, so that's going to help. However, starvation is starting to stack up. Hopefully some folks will eat uh, those. These will get processed. But I don't know what human corpses... I, can't, I forget. Human corpses will get us uh, fertilizer, unfortunately. Most of them eat fertilizer. Oh, no, just like chemicals. Okay. I mean, that's fine, again, for other uses. But, yeah, we are at a loss for biomatter right now. Oh, man. How ironic. One of the things you would never think or, or care about when you are doing a transition ship like this become the most important thing ever. I, we need to get out of this uh, system, but I don't see <laughs> getting ready to build this ship anytime soon, which is really annoying. I'm sure that's... Uh... And here's the thing. We've talked about this at length, about, like, what is it? Uh, that people come here to watch. And all of you people are, are, all of you people are leaving wonderful comments talking about how it doesn't matter, just do what you want. We'll just, we like, we'll watch if we watch, we won't if we won't. Like, just relax and do, you do you. And it's like, that's great. I, but I am still trying to think of, like, what is, you know, enjoyable to watch, what's fun. 
Um, so that's definitely still on my mind. And I think I would love to be <laughs> building this ship right now, but I just don't feel like we're in a good spot yet. And uh, so the cramped quarters, the very few things to do, but uh, as, as many tasks as food are on this ship, which is to say very little. Uh, and so the unease continues aboard the SCS moving on up. No matter how nice of a ship it is, which, believe me, I, I like this ship, it might be nice to put it into a skeleton crew eventually and then turn it into, like, a prison refugee ship that follows along with the Dreadnought. Um, could be fun. We'll think about it. I mean, leave it in a comment below because surely we won't be ready to dismantle this ship this episode, that's for sure. I was kind of hoping we'd at least get something basic built out. But we have another ship to go and hunt in this area. Oh, uh, let's get... Hang on, let's make sure all that's transferred. Yeah, more stuff. We have another ship to hunt. And a civilian, a refugee to cash in on. Hopefully get something for that. Now, worst case scenario, if this gets worse, like we have one LG dispenser, so that's okay. If this gets worse, we could just open up access to this one. Starvation is now at three. Three people have starvation conditions. Tanya's got some food. She's going to go eat that, I assume, unless her coffee break ends. Come on, Tanya. Make it to the food place. Oh, that's a lot of people that just ate very nice meals, so that's good. We're going to be out of those pretty soon. <laughs> we could consider going to this station, though, and buying, I assume, a lot of foods. Okay, did Dr. Thumbs or Haley get a meal? No. What is Haley carrying? Is there a way to find out? In use... Wait, is she just going to eat those raw seeds? I think she just did. Was that Colleen? It was Colleen, right? So her, her food is 98. I think she just straight up ate some uh, some seeds. Yeah, they're eating totally... Re Captain Annie it, uh, is just eating nuts and seeds. Okay, I didn't know that they did that, so that's cool. That's good to, to know because we have a lot of like food lying around, so that'll be good. I might have to turn off for mission to eat if we can get the algae dispensers up and running again. These are at uh, 19%. Uh, oh, there's our little guy. Oh, so he doesn't even take a shuttle. He just floats around. Almost out of power. Get in some. Get in here. Get some power. We're almost done here, and then we can get out. The starvation are now complete. Is that what I did? I say that right? The starvation are now complete. I don't know what I'm talking about, but the point is we now have two full uh, algae dispensers, so that's going to help us a little bit. So we have, we must have a little bit of bio uh, matter somewhere. Um, we have started eating the food, though, that's available to us in storage. I think we might want to turn that off again just in case we come on hard times, so we'll have to be careful. Uh, but the pirates have decided to come to us. That makes our life quite a lot easier. Then we can go down here, which is a cult. Okay, so we can't sell off our refugee to the cultists. But we can easily and safely probably finish exploring this sector once we've dealt with these two ships and then get out of here. Find somewhere nice to settle down and build the dreadnought. Oh, boy. I mean, here's the thing. I'm being negative, you know, because I'm like, oh, we're not building the new ship. This is horrible content. But here's the thing. You want to hang out with me? You're hanging out with me. All right, we're doing it. And you know what else we're doing? We're playing Space Haven. Okay. At the end of the day, we're still playing Space Haven. Uh, I have also taken to uh, ordering some hull block tasks. So those are being made while our energy blocks are being done. This refinery, we could maybe disassemble it. I don't know if we need more electronics components at the moment. Let's order a few more. <laughs> because I think we make energy cells with them, don't we? Uh... Where's that thing? That's up here. Yeah, we're going to need those for energy cells. Uh, so, and we don't need those. Okay, we need energy cells, though, to keep up with those, to keep our robots happy. So, uh, let's keep that an eye on that. Uh, and this is growing. Yep, 30% optimal. So, this is actually a great little growing area. However, we don't, however, we don't want to do that. Miles is now starving. Come on, Miles. Hey, Miles, you know what I mean? Sort yourself out. Oh, it'll go away soon. He just ate a big old, big fat meal. I really can't wait until we get some proper meals here, though. One day, one day again. All the folks sleeping. Nice, a nice slumber happening. Meanwhile, the pirates heading in. We certainly are putting ourselves at a disadvantage against these pirates because we do not have the muscle to take them out. We're all immune. We're all fat and protein deficient. In order to bring everybody home, I've ordered the ship into hyperdrive, but again, I didn't time it quite right. I was trying to max out my efficiency, uh, but here are the pirates. 
Four weapons are pretty armed to the teeth here, but it does look like a sl No, it's not much smaller. Same ship footprint, but but not as... Uh, it just doesn't look as powerful. They've decided, of course, to fire on us. Thanks for that, you jerks. However, I'm pretty worried about this fight. I'm kind of feeling like they are going to... Okay, where is Captain Annie? Okay, that's fine. I, I'm kind of feeling like they are going to... Uh, ah, shucks. I think they're going to take off. That's what I'm trying to say. They're going to take off any second now. So I'm just like, I don't want to, like, risk this fight. Although we are definitely about to lose our shields. Okay, they've shifted over to fighting them. And I do see a shuttle heading over to do battle. Okay, this could be good. We could join the battle then. All right, Captain Annie. Team 2, I want you guys to fire up as well and board. Okay, come on out, Captain Annie. They will at some point start firing on us again. There they go. They've started firing on us again. <laughs> okay. I think they do detect that somehow we are a pretty decent-sized threat. Even though, like, these are the guns lo unloading on you. I, I know that they're going to spool up their engines as soon as they lose their shields, though. Unlike us, who valiantly stick around to have holes poked in our ship. All right. Come on out. Yeah. There they go. Uh, let's uh, accept... There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, ah, this is the best. Okay, wait. Oh, that's weird. That's interesting because, like, they asked for a ceasefire with us, and if I accepted, that means they would stop fighting me. But what I didn't ask them to do was stop fighting the cultists because they're, or the androids, rather, because they're not, I, I don't get to control them. So this battle that's unfolding here is going to destroy their ship now that they've been they're stuck here because they're stuck here because i've declared a ceasefire <laughs> oh fascinating all right i might hang out out here though and wait for the ship to be destroyed because i don't want to be involved in all this exploding uh and then not have my spacesuits on me uh when the blast happens oh well, you know what we could do we could try this let's dock here okay and dock here now, this is a strategy I was told about. Uh, again, I need to find out uh, who they were, that, who, who it was that made this comment. But you can actually, like, you can unload everybody here and then all board together. Makes it for a much nicer boarding party rather than waiting to cycle your ships through the airlock here. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to try that. The shuttle, ha their shuttle has, um, I can't select it. Oh, the selection box is weird. Okay, their shuttle has departed and left the soldiers on board. All right. Come out. Oh, I guess it'll declare war. Yeah, we'll continue with that action. Team 2 floats out into space. Team 1 approaches. Are their engines spooling up or not? Okay, well, now we have our spacesuits on, so that's good. I like that. Uh, I don't know how... Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe one of them had to dock. Nope. You just right-click. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad news. This was a bad idea. Let's get out. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Lori, get out of there. No, Lori! Lori, no! Okay, Lori gives up. The ship has been destroyed. Okay. Lori's gonna die unless we free her. Okay, Lori, could you go get a... Okay, that shuttle goes. See uh, Kiara and all them. Okay, one and two. Okay, yeah, let's float over here. Okay, Lori is, go is finding oxygen, so we kind of need to, like, free Lori ASAP. Come here. Oh, uh, crap. How many of them are there? Try not to take hits on your way by. <laughs> okay, we got to get in there somehow. How are we going to save Lori? Lori, we're coming for you. Nope. Okay, how are we doing for oxygen? Okay, Marie. Uh, Marie. Go get some O2. Okay, fine. You know what? Let me back on board. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. This is the new plan. Okay, we got to go save Lori. All right. Everybody's oxygenated again, one assumes. Okay, you're going to go dock over there. <laughs> Enough of this. And you're going to come... Oh, no! <laughs> They're all going into this room. 
Ah, we gotta save Lori. I guess that makes sense. Lori's going wherever the oxygen is. She is bleeding and has a, a, regre a regressing open wound. Cannot talk today. Uh, so we need to get there. Okay, this kind of gives us an idea. Everyone's just like sitting and waiting to die, so that's not ideal. And I assume that the cultists have also lost a bunch of their command crew as well. Let's turn off... Okay, yeah, turn off... Uh, yeah, the shields will be fine. They'll come back. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, so we're doing the docking cycle. Got team one here. We need to free Lori. A-S-A friggin' P. Come on, hurry up. We can do this. We can free Lori. Freeing Private Lori. She's starting to take some damage here. And we've got Whitney, whom we don't necessarily care about. But, like, all humans are important. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, like, we got other fish to fry right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. Uh, yeah. I do not know what that was about. That was not ideal, hey? Yeah, can you guys shoot at least? Do the door cheese or something? There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, get Ryan, get Conrad. Get some good shots on Conrad. That's good. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, careful. Oh, my goodness. Reeves! Oh, no, that's Kurab. No, that was Reeves. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, who is this? Get rid of Shuruki. Yeah, hail of bullets. Okay, unfortunately, you're more important to us as corpses. If you do not like this part of the episode, do not watch. Oh my goodness, what else is happening? Who else is that? Who else is dying? There's Loki and we got everybody everywhere. Oh my god, okay, okay. We gotta be careful here. This is not going well at all. Okay, some people have given up as well. I thought that was the last of them, but this ship is full of people right now. We've lost Reebs. You probably should have seen that coming. Who else are we gonna lose? I'm not sure. I'm worried that we're going to lose Lori. She's got regressing wounds. We've got to get down here. Okay, oh, I see. There's, like, quite a crew down here. Crap. Alma. Alma has a lot of fight left in him, him slash her. There's Tanya. A, a, some sort of other type of Tanya. And I can't... Nope. Try to target Alma here. Captain Annie's taking some bad hits. Tanya gives up. Alma is all that's left, I think. And she's starting to lose interest in the fight. And, I no, we don't have time to be taking any prisoners right now. Again, this is the part where I don't want you to watch, folks. This has to happen because they are going to be water. Okay? They're going to be water. They are going to be uh, all the stuff, all the various stuff that we need. Uh, I need you to deal with that, please. Captain Annie deals with Loki. Did we lose Lori? No. Where is Lori? I can't find Lori. Okay, that's not ideal. So we need to find them quickly. Yeah, can you deal with Dervis and stuff too? Okay, come on. Come on. Where did Lori go? Oh, they're down here. Okay. Okay, let's go save Lori. Athena. Good lord, there's a lot of prisoners here to deal with. Okay. Well, folks, uh, instead of building our ship together today, uh, we just decided that we needed to, uh, <laughs> we needed to, oh, there's, Ta oh, so Tanya was one of mine, and she gave up. Okay, good. Okay, Kubab. Kubab will be dealt with. Oh, we gotta get, oh, crap. Okay, hang on, pause. Lori, what are you, I think we're gonna lose Lori today. <gasps> Eight hit points left. No oxygen. Follow me. No, no, free her. Un okay. Okay, Lori, draft. I don't think Lori's going to make it. That's a long walk. Lori, go. Go, Lori, please, for the love of God. Get in the ship. Okay. You guys continue exploring the rest of this vessel. Oh, we can't do it because of the... Oh, it is really, yeah, frustrating when they are half un uh, undrafted and all that. Okay, Miles, what's your deal? Draft. Uh, just... Okay, fine. You go and explore. All that matters right now is saving Lori. Whitney is not going to make it, and Lori has also not made it. Oh, my goodness. Things got spicy in that round. Things got spicy as all heck in that round. Did we get the ship, at least? Oh, no, we still, do, we still haven't explored the ship. Is this because it doesn't count as our ship? 
Is that what's going on right now? Or no, we just haven't explored like this room, I guess. Uh, okay, Marie. Okay, go explore down here. Now, who else is doing poorly? Marie is not doing great. She's got an open wound regressing, so let's get her on that vessel now. Um, what else do we have? Tanya doing okay, not regressing. Miles, draft and get on board the <laughs> emergency vessel. Oh, did the did the androids get this vessel? That's going to be a bummer. That's going to be very annoying to me if the androids get this. Or is there somebody we haven't... Oh, I see. We just haven't accepted the surrender. Okay, so we'll go accept that surrender. Captain Annie is surveying. She's got an open wound that's regressing, so let's get you on board. Frank the, Frank the tank is doing fine. Um, we'll take them prisoner. Decline. Take them all prisoner. And then claim the vessel. Now... That was a good joint effort by the various teams, but I will be taking all of this. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Okay, Athena, let's get you on board the medical ship here. Thank God I bought some uh, medical supplies recently. Where's my ship? There it is. Uh, because they, we are about to use them pretty hard here. Oh, no, wait, hang on. <sighs> Lori and Reeves, two pretty rough deaths. And... I know we all talked about it. I'm considering save scum just to get them back. But unfortunately, you know, here's the thing. Sometimes this is the story. You can't have everybody survive all of the time. Unfortunately, it was, you know, Gerard Butler who decided to not die. I guess I didn't even send him on the on this one, did I? So that's the case there. Okay, I just don't want any more deaths to happen. What else do we have here? Tanya is about to die any second. She's drafted, that's why. Let's get some O2. Eight health. She doesn't have any regressing problems, but her lack of O2 might kill her. She was drafted for too long, I think. Okay, crap. Okay, let's undraft that vessel. Where did my thing go? Here it is. Okay, let's get these folks. Some medical attention ASAP. All we have to do is get rid of the regressing I injury problems. Undraft that. Okay, where's Tanya? She's got some O2. Her health went back up to 20. We're okay. I'm going to undraft her. She's going to sort herself out. And then, of course, we have some prisoners to go free. And there's Saida. Okay, so we're going to deal with those as well. And by deal with, I think they're not going to make it. Don't worry, I'll fast forward that part. Because this, look at this thing. This was an absolute bloodbath. And we need to move quick. Because these friggin' Thunder Child, these friggin' jerks are gonna strip all of the good stuff. So let's actually prioritize what we're taking. Uh, transfer, pause the game. Let's go, let's get all of this. That's good stuff to get. And the hyper fuel, let's get the medical supplies. That stuff, let's get all these shotguns, because we can sell those. And of course, I want all the bodies. Welfare, what's this? Oh, okay, well let's not let's not get welfare. I don't know what that's all about, but let's like not touch his body or Whit Whitney. Okay, let's not touch their bodies. Well, let's get those guns as well. Okay, we're going to we're going to get all that stuff first. Look at the meat. <laughs> we're going to get all that stuff first, then start salvaging the other stuff. That's the most important right now. And you know what we should do is stop stop this part. Yes, I know a salvage bot's doing it, but I'm worried that uh humans will be given salvage orders as well. And I right now I'm trying to loot it. What does the androids want? Um, uh, well, okay, what do they want? Five water, hey? How about a hard decline? What about that? What about you give us hundreds of thousands of space doubloons, and then we'll do that for you? Whew. Okay. This was a simple plan. All I wanted to do was get ready and find a nice spot to build my next uh, 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 ship, the Dreadnought. I'll at least tease you with an idea here, but but this simple plan did not go well, and now I have to go to work. <laughs> okay, I'm not complaining. But folks, like, my call time, which is the time I have to show up uh, tomorrow, is 5.30. So, like, what you know, what do you want from me? Of course, I'm going to be a bit grumpy about that. So I'm just going to show you here something because I'm going to go to work, but I'm going to show you kind of, like, the general idea here. And Yes, I'm going to go to work, but, like, yeah, uh, Vampy can't get mad at me because... This isn't a live stream. So the general idea here with this ship 
is there's going to be... I've got to figure out where the center line is, right? So we're going to make it all symmetrical. But here's what I was thinking. And you tell me what you think in the comments, all right? We're just going to sketch it out quickly here. So it's going to be something like this. Then there's going to be like a bit of a bulbous like front section like this. Say, and then it kind of carries back on up to here with a wing section here like so. And then it might just taper off a little bit like something like that. Then it's going to come back like so. Okay. Then this part's going to come back out like this. Okay. And then kind of come up and straight and then like that. All right. And so then the engines are going to be here. This will be like the engine compartment. Could you imagine if I just built this? If I was like, all right, let's build this. <laughs> but this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm thinking about building. Now, what I also might do is, is we could have this taper come along like this. So let's actually do that. Let's see what that looks like. So it's something like that, like a little bit subtle. And then, and then forward. That's going to give us more build space. And then we can wrap this area around here. So let's erase the back end. Uh, erase that. Erase all of that. So it kind of looks like something like that. That's gonna that's giving us, and I know in our other in Stream Haven, which I hope to do again soon. Uh, I know that we have a, a bit of a Space Invader vibe, but maybe this, yeah, that looks kind of fun. Okay, so it's oops, uh, erase sketch. So the dream here, folks. Obviously, we couldn't get to it today. I apologize, but I'm hope I hopefully I hopefully hope that you still found this to be some solid content. But it's hard to see right now. But the dream is sort of um, a dreadnought style like Ferengi vessel, if that makes any sense. See how it kind of comes forward with a command center here, windows all along this space. So the taper is long enough to hold at least like two level two looking windows. We can put all the rooms along the arms here, maybe a uh, central area for processing or food. So no food, or I was also thinking like food extraction on both sides and, uh, and some, and some, you know, crew quarters and, living area here and then sort of like a main engineering back here lots of shuttle bays and stuff like that so that's the general vibe uh, of what we're gonna make unfortunately we won't be making it today because an absolute look at this absolute wreckage this absolute bloodbath had to break out and this uh, star sector became the boneyard of this season Although I think, I can't remember if Season 4 had a boneyard already, but this is definitely becoming a bit of a boneyard. <sighs> F's in the chat for Lori and Reeves. Lori, who was taken captive and then just exhausted herself, could not escape the destruction of the vessel. And Reeves, who did her best, but we busted out into an all-out, just a bloodbath here. I did not see them. on. That's weird that I didn't see them on the other side of the door, but what are you going to do? So, yes... We're, we gotta get this, you know, prisoner over, uh, and sell them to somebody. See if we can make up the loss. Maybe we could try to convince them to join us, because now we have a deficit in team two, one and two. We might have to wake up the doorbusters, because we also kind of need to fire Gerard Butler. That guy sort of sucks. Although maybe we all kind—I think we all kind of suck at accuracy right now. Let's take a look at. Uh, nope, Captain Annie is a fifty-one, with a. Although she doesn't have, yeah, she, no, she doesn't have any dietary issues. So maybe that's just why Gerard Butler sucks. I'm not sure. At any rate, we're going to have to probably get rid of him from a shooty team. Yeah, I just don't, I just don't see him being useful anymore on a shooty team, which is wild because his name is friggin' Gerard Butler. But yeah, we have a lot to do here and things went very spicy in this episode. Let me know what you think of that design idea. This is, this is the dream. And we're not going to call it the HSS Dorado. We'll call it the SCS Dreadnought or something. So go, start giving me naming ideas. But yeah, I think, yeah, spiky. I think it's got forward spikes. I think I like that the best. So we're going to do forward spikes. It's going to be a real Ferengi vessel. Forward spikes, a little empty area there. Do we want, here's another question. Do we want to have a central area like that? I mean, it doesn't leave a lot of growing uh, building space if we build a central. We could build it. You know what we could do is a very small one. So a very small sort of central courtyard where we, wherein we can have like medical areas here or something. And the, and the medical area is like very large. Uh, like this entire room is our, our med bay, but it's all around this like central, you know, windowed courtyard thing. That could look kind of cool. 
So anyway, there's those are the ideas. That's what we're going to get up to in the next couple episodes. But unfortunately, this episode had to instead be filled with death and destruction on all sides. Hopefully you found it to be some truly solid content. And now I have to go to work. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next episode of Space Haven. Sleep well, you fools. Knowing that most of you entirely missed out on the carnage that befell the crew. Oh no, these are the real ones sleeping. <laughs> Good luck. I hope you guys like being woken up soon, because I'm chewing through my people. Ooh.